What's up, everybody? I'm Scott from HostGator, and as a very obvious example of on-camera talent and model material, I understand the importance of optimizing images for SEO on your website. I mean, just look at how symmetrical the space is. Yes, good side, better side. <laughs> In this episode of Hosted, I'll give you my top five tips to optimize your images for SEO so you too can one day look like this in images and have those images help your site rank higher. <laughs> Obviously, it's important to use relevant and high quality images so visitors to your site aren't like, what is this? <laughs> so once you have good images that make sense and aren't lame, it's time to level up your SEO game with these five easy tips. Number one, customize the file name. This one seems like a no brainer, but you'd be surprised at how few people take advantage of adding more relevant text to images. As we know, search engines crawl your site in the background, parsing keywords and text to better know what your site is about, to then better serve your site in a search engine results page. More relevant text means more opportunity to capture those crawlers and bump your site up in the list. Ooh. Exciting. Yeah. So before you even upload your image to your site, give it a relevant and obvious file name, and if you can, try to hit on some of your target keywords. For instance, instead of naming an image file photo number one, be more specific, like, Scott Rowan Modeling Portfolio Construction Worker. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that, that should do the trick. <laughs> Number two, use alt text. If you like alt rock, you're gonna love alt text. <laughs> it's like regular text, but grungier and got really popular in the 90s. Oh. What's that? Not at all what alt text is? Okay. Well, even if alt text isn't your pearl jam, oh. You should still consider using it on your images to improve your SEO. Alt text is actually a text description of your image that will show up if the browser has trouble loading that image, or if a visitor uses a screen reader. Though those instances are rare, it is still a chance to add more keyword slash SEO friendly text. Be sure to be descriptive and detailed and add both alt text and a description. Different CMSs have different ways to add alt text, but in WordPress, there is an alt text field in the image interface that makes it easy to update or using HTML, you can simply add an alt tag to your code. With alt text added and optimized on all of your images, your SEO will reach a state of nirvana. Oh, man. <laughs> Number three, add image captions. Another place to use SEO and keyword text on your images? I'll take it. Woo. Captions are a great way to add a little description to your image or even just a little extra jokey tidbit of info. Captions are small pieces of text that appear beneath an image and can both add keywords and create a better user experience, encouraging your users to stay on your site longer, which also helps search engines bump your site up in the results. The trick here is that since your visitors can see this text, it's important to make it feel natural and not too spammy or SE over the toppy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Number four, reduce image file size. When it comes to the world of the internet, improperly sized images can be unpleasant. <laughs> Image files that are larger than they need to be don't actually improve the quality of the image displayed, and they can actually slow down your site's performance. Site speed is both directly an SEO ranking factor, and it can affect the user experience, increasing visitor bounce rate, which decreases SEO. So use only the size image you need. <laughs> you can resize images using Max Preview or Microsoft Paint, or use Photoshop with the Save for Web option. You can also use sites like TinyPNG and JPEG Mini to compress your files even more, allowing for even smaller file sizes without a loss in quality. The goal is to find the smallest file size that still provides a good resolution. Here's a good resolution for you. Use the right size image! <laughs> and finally, number five, choose the right file type. This point is really more of a quick pro tip to keep in mind while creating images for your site. There are three main image types used in web design, JPEG, PNG, and GIF. JPEG is the most common and can deliver a great size to quality ratio, keeping files small, but good. PNG files are often larger in size, but do support a transparent background, which is great for logos and design elements. GIFs often offer the smallest file size, but also the lowest quality. They too support transparent backgrounds and can also be used to create hilarious memes. <laughs> Basically, JPEG is best for photos, PNG is best for design elements that need high quality, and GIFs can sub in for lower quality design elements. With your image types optimized, your load times and user experience will also be optimized, which will help your SEO. And that is the GIF I give to you. <laughs> and there you have it, my top five tips for improving your SEO with images. Get the picture? Check back next week for a tutorial on how to make candles that smell like teen spirit. Whoa. Come!
come as you are, as you were, as I want you to be. Okay, bye. Mike, what, uh, what's your favorite candle smell? Do you got one? Are you like a sandalwood kind of guy? Uh, yeah, I like sandalwood. I also like vanilla, chocolate, strawberry. Oh, so, wait, we're talking about ice cream. Right? Yeah, okay. Now you're just waxing on. <laughs> hey! <laughs>